So over the last few days, I would have been writing a few articles about some Haitian visitors who are being housed at a property here at Wanset Gardens in St. James. It's a property right behind me. Uh, at that time, I would have reported that immigration and officials and police would have been carrying out a joint investigation. Uh, I'm told that there were a number of children who were staying here and there were a number of residents as well who would have been expressing concern about the circumstances under which uh, these visitors were being housed and I did some further investigating and I was able to uncover that they came here through a travel agency called MPH um, which has covered flights, accommodation, any visas that they would need and with the intention of eventually moving them to Guyana. It's unclear what they're expected to do in Guyana or what they intend to do in Guyana but for some reason they have not been able to get the visas that they needed to enter Guyana and so they've been here for an extended time. I did some other investigating and I went on the MPH uh, Facebook page and there I would have translated some comments on some of the posts that would have been in Haitian Creole and it basically indicated that some of the visitors uh, staying here, some of the Haitian visitors would have been asking some questions about why it was taking so long for them to get the visas to go into Guyana and since then I would have spoken to Reverend David Durant who is a social activist has dealt with matters of this nature. I spoke to Dr. Olivia Smith who is a migration expert and they both expressed some concern about these circumstances and there have been you know many people who would have been speculating about what might be at play here but certainly we we did not know for sure all we knew that there were is that there were a number of Haitians living in these two apartments one a basement apartment and the other above uh, but today we got word that the Minister of Home Affairs uh, Minister Wilfred, Wilfred Abrams was here with uh, a member of the press and the chief immigration officer acting uh, Margaret Innes and some other officials and we came down here, when we came we realized that they were doing a walkthrough and somewhat of an investigation. Uh, the translator, there was clearly a, a major language barrier, the translator would have been attempting to find out from one or two of the residents uh, what, what the situation was and the minister, you, you would have heard him repeatedly asking whether you guys are okay and whether you're being housed against your will and he said that he had come because of troubling reports about their situation so i'm just verifying something just keep it real clear you know what human trafficking is right yes do you know what human trafficking is so all who are here came to barbados voluntarily yeah and you're leaving to go somewhere else voluntarily. Yeah. So you're not being forced to stay in Barbados or being held. Sorry, are you being forced to stay in Barbados or being kept in Barbados against you? All right, it's the question of, uh, b before and we uh, answer on the question, I can say uh, everybody, if you want to stay in Barbados because we don't know why uh, we stay in the Barbados but uh, where you're this, everybody want to go in the guy now because I have a kid, I have a three kids for this is my brother, my brother stay in the Guyana, but I don't know what okay. can I do. So you're just waiting to go on to Guyana? Yeah, I can. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, what the Haitian, one Haitian in particular who clearly knows a bit of English was explaining um, that they just wanted to go to Guyana and there were also some inquiries made about the children who are staying there and it's a it's eight children from what I am able to uh, what I was able to glean based on the discussions that were being had I did not get a definitive number to confirm or deny whether there are still 33 people being housed there we were told perhaps that some may have been moved to another property uh, but after those discussions, we, we went down into the basement. It's a fairly nice apartment, uh, but there were clearly quite a number of people living there, and it doesn't seem as though um, 
the immigration officials, the minister was too alarmed. He seemed relatively satisfied that they were being well taken care of. And he promised, we asked whether he would uh, give us an interview at that time and he declined, but he said that he would release a statement um, later on the circumstances here at Wanstead Gardens in St. James. Uh, my name is Kareem Smith. Um, I'm reporting for Barbados today.